In today's video, we're taking a look at a compact mini refrigerator with freezer, auto defrost, and a can dispenser. Everything that we use on the video, we're gonna leave a link on the description. So you woke up today with cooling things around your household on your mind. Don't worry, here at the Statabox team, we've got your back. Today, we're looking at the New Air 3.1 cubic feet compact mini refrigerator with freezer, auto defrost, a can dispenser, and many storage area, such as right on the door, as well as inside of the refrigerator. It comes at 53 pounds and it has dimensions of 19.37 deep, 18.5 wide, and 32.95 of height. This is a stainless steel version, but it does also come in black. It has an open back design where we meet the compressor, the lines, and the drip tray. Also in the box came a set of barbecue paper, very thoughtful from the company to include that. We have a three prong, six feet power cord that we're gonna take it to the outlet and put this piece of metal to the test. And the first thing that we notice, it's Watson's magical powers. How she's able to open those doors with ease, making me realize I should sleep with one eye open. But when I tried it, the doors open easily with no issues. If you wanna learn how to switch a refrigerator's door opening from one side to the other, we'll leave a link for that video on the description. And as suggested by the manufacturer's instructions on the barbecue paper, we let the refrigerator rest upright on its natural position for 24 hours before connecting it and turning it on. Meanwhile, we fill your brain with information. Let's go ahead and place this ice tray of water on the freezer. In just in a few minutes of having it on, we take out our trusty thermometer gun and put it to the test. Seeing a zero and a one is very promising. And this is currently measuring in Fahrenheit. According to the paper that the manufacturer were so kind to include in the box for my barbecue, it does say that the temperature range on the freezer is from negative 11.2 to negative 10.4 degrees Fahrenheit. So now that we got those numbers, like we're back to school, Let's go ahead and leave the ice tray on the freezer and go to the store and get something to fill this sexy stainless steel body up with some product. And as you may already figured out, I was definitely speaking about me. Now that we've come back, Watson can show off her superpowers. But in second thought, is that a sign of what's to come tonight? So it does pass with flying colors, making ice under an hour and solid ones, may I say. Now, let's go on to the second test. How many things can we fit in there? And if everything I learned in school is right, and it comes to this moment, it looks like the number is 16. And these are regular size water bottles. On the door, we do have space for extra long croissant can with to fit. This can also be several frozen juice packs, concentrate, or if you want to go the carnivore route, two packs of ground meat. And in the freezer, we got to fit five family size vacuum sealed meat pack. And maybe sideways, we can fit one more. Now that your mind has become a tape measure, we can go to the bottom. Not only we have plenty of storage right on the door, we also have inside. We have two glass shelves and the basket in the bottom. We're able to fit two quarters of Parmesan cheese, a extra large mozzarella packet, and a multi-pack fresh mozzarella bag. If you wanna check out our video on how to make homemade mozzarella, we're gonna leave a link on the description. At the top, we have the commander's master control. And this is where the universe gives you the power to choose from minimum, medium, max, or all the way on the other side, off. Meaning if you wanna cool any beverages faster or maintain them, you have the ability to do that, as well as turning it off. And as we all know, many wars and kingdoms have been lost because of the thermostat control. And this one is very easy to access. So we say on to you, prepare grasshopper. Winter may be coming. 
also on the box they were so kind to include what the barbecue paper labels as a putty knife so this might go on my toolbox and not on the refrigerator so after a whole day of having this apparatus on we've noticed a little bit of frost built up on the back but this is nothing to worry about it has an auto defrost system built in and also at the back behind the shelves we have an exit hole for all that defrost liquid to escape and the shelves are very deep we're able to place laying down three bottles of watson energy source for combustion and now as we reconsider what we said we should tell the editor to bleep that part out for our kingdom's sake three bottles of watson energy source we have a high tall 12 pack at the top that also fits with ease but if that's not enough we get to the cool part of the refrigerator other than the look and size is the can dispenser located at the door we're able to place a six pack with ease and we're sure we can fit one more at the top you can choose to insert it from the top top or from the middle and this is the part that we say if you take anything away from this video is that catching the can before it drops it's a good idea because the last thing you want is to open a can and then it becomes champagne once you're ready to treat yourself to a cold liquid gold bubbly can of seltzer water you can do that right from the bottom and then the next one drop ready for the next time on the door itself we have a swivel bar where you can place larger objects we can easily fit the bottles of wine but if you want to fit a, a double liter you can as well and on top of your big bottle station you have space to place some snack or even a coconut water bottle overall we've been testing this machine for about a month now with no issues the freezer gets very cold very quickly you have the ability to control the temperature at the bottom you have a talking piece of can dispenser at the door but the best thing that we found is the space how many things you can fit on this little terminator don't forget if you like the video please give us a thumbs up that really helps if you have any questions place them in the comment section below either someone in the status box team or someone in the youtube community can help you out with an answer don't forget to subscribe follow us on social media thank you for watching and here's a link to our latest video